Hi everyone. In this series of tutorials, I'll be looking at how to use Musical 4 in education. Today we're looking at some slightly more advanced features that will help make your tests look fantastic. So our next question says write a one octave G minor scale ascending in semibreves. And of course I just want, let's just add a clef first instruction. So I need just a blank stave here for the student. So let's go to MuseScore and here we have some empty bars so we need to clear them out. I'll just select all of them and V to hide. That gets rid of the rests but I've still got the bar numbers, I've still got the clef and I've still got the bar lines. So what I'm going to do is click on any one of them then I'll use right click and stave or part properties. And in here, I'll just remove to show the clef, the time signature, and the bar lines. And when I apply, I'm left with a nice empty staff. Then we can screenshot it as usual. Remember that's Windows Shift and S on PC or Command Shift and 4 on Mac. Now, instead of having to keep making this every time, I'm actually going to click on this so that it opens up in Snip and Sketch and then I'll save that as a PNG and I'll call it empty stave. Then instead of having to remake it every time in a new musical project, I can just go and grab that one from my resources somewhere. So that's really useful. Go into my MS Word document and paste it there. The other useful thing, of course, about having an empty stave is you can make it as long or as short as you need it without really any losing any quality. So that's very useful. Now in this question, I need to have just those elements on their own. I don't want the staff lines in the background. So what I'll do for now is let's bring back all our bar lines and clef and so on. Let's go and write in the rests that we need. So that's a crotchet and let's have a quaver there and a minim and a semi breve and I think we need a dotted crotchet as well. Now the minimum and the semi brief we need their lines, so let's get, get them first. But now the others, we don't want the lines behind them. So again, I'll right click, stave and part properties, and this time I'll say invisible stave lines and apply. And now I can go and screenshot just the things that I need. Next time, we'll look at some settings in MuseScore to help improve your workflow when setting tests.